Okay, now let's look at another uh, great control position in jiu-jitsu. It's uh, back control. And uh, for this demo, we're going to get it from the mount position. So, again, I'm going to be in a mount position on Rob. And at this point here, I'm in my classic mount position. Now Rob starts to buck and float and roll, right? So look, the first thing I do here is I feel him rolling. I allow him a little space to roll, like open my legs up like a barrel. And I allow him to roll. Go ahead, roll. And as soon as he rolls, he's going to fall into one of the hooks already. We call these hooks, and I'll go through the details again. Rob continues to roll, boom, and I set my other hook. Here I also want to get control of Rob's wrist. This is an important position for me. I get control of Rob's wrist and I want to break him down with this. When I break him down on the shoulder, I'm also going to roll in order to get him over. I'll show you the roll and we'll go through the details. Here I ended up on my back, but I don't want to sit here too long on my back. I want to sit up for my back control. This gives me more positioning. My hand ends up in the collar here or it can end up here. And I keep this wrist control. And I'm going to show you this from a couple of different angles, but we were here. My feet always stay apart here. A lot of times you're going to get the habit, you think this is better. This is no-no. Rob's going to lock this over and put a nasty ankle choke on me. This is a good attack position for me right here. Even if you have the hooks in and you're not happy with your position here, you can create space and go to backpack and always regain this hand if you want. So let's just do it a couple times. I'll show you the transition from a couple rolls and a couple angles. See how I track Rob? I just sort of stay on his back. I don't try and flatten him out. I stay with him and just ride him like a wave, like a surfer. This is another detail that a lot of guys struggle with. I mark this arm and I collapse it. One of the reasons why I collapse this is it gives me a better chance to roll Rob. The subtlety of the roll is this. I'm always trying to take Rob over on 45 degrees. I'm not trying to roll Rob square or perpendicular to his body. He's too big. If I try and pull him just straight sideways, watch. Rob's got too good of a base, so I'm not trying to roll that way. I'm trying to take him over a quarter. And at the same time, my opposite leg, my right leg, this one, is just hooking him up a little bit to elevate his hip. Look. See? and I'm in a really good attack position here. Okay, so that's taking the back, ride him, surf him, give him space to turn. When he turns, set the hooks, healthy pressure, mark the wrist, and get the trap, and move close to him to tell him what you're about to do. Take the back. <laughs> 